There's a lot going on in the sky these days, and many learned people are educating us on the movement and machinations of the planets and how they affect our lives. But few know that many of these calculations are based on a woman whose life's work was so foreign for someone of her gender that they had to invent a new word to describe her. Her name is Mary Fairfax Somerville, and she is the reason the word scientist was coined. Born in Scotland in 1780, she was taught to read by her mother and furthered her education on her own from the family library. When her father discovered she was secretly reading at night, the thought of a woman wanting to acquire knowledge was so foreign that her father insisted her mother put a stop to it lest she end up in a straitjacket. Undeterred, Mary continued to study math extensively, but in 1804 she married a cousin and no longer pursued these interests as her husband had a low opinion of the abilities of the female, she's quoted as saying. After his death in 1807, she once again pursued her interests, and in 1812, she married a man who did support her work, and her studies continued, adding botany and biology to her areas of work, publishing her first scientific study in 1826. She published numerous works covering physics, astronomy, meteorology, and geometry. While translating Pierre Laplace's book about celestial mechanics from French to English, she added her own thoughts and discoveries, and the resulting book, The Mechanisms of the Heavens, became a widely resourced university textbook. Her next solo book, On the Connection of the Physical Sciences, became one of the best-selling science books of the 19th century. Her work began the calculations that eventually led to the discovery of the planet Neptune. Mary was a self-taught polymath, determined to continue her education and research in the scientific fields that fascinated her, despite the popular opinion that it was unladylike and ridiculed as a bit of madness. A woman in the scientific fields was so foreign that only the term man of science was used to describe those who studied them. But after reading her work, the writer William Weehal used the term scientist to describe her as man of science was no longer accurate. For the rest of her life, Mary continued to study and receive awards and accolades for her groundbreaking work in the sciences. Though mostly uncredited, her work is still seen in many textbooks and scientific journals today. Perhaps her greatest legacy is in the word itself, as it's because of her that a term that described a field that was off limits to females is now gender neutral. Mary Fairfax Somerville died in November of 1872 at 92 years old. She left a legacy of scientific work that led to groundbreaking discoveries, but perhaps her greatest legacy is in the word itself, as it's because of her that the necessity to change a description of a field meant for males alone was replaced with one that included all. Scientist.